Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we are going to be covering something we get asked a lot about, and that's printing our goof proof screen printed transfers on hats using the Hotronics Fusion IQ360 cap press. Now we're going to chat about some of the awesome features of this press, the benefits of using our very popular goof proof screen printed transfers, and then I'll show you how to set up your press and apply a goof proof transfer to a trucker cap. Are you excited? You know I am, so let's get to it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, designs, apparel, and advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We are kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Now here, we've got the super powerful Hotronics Fusion IQ 360 cap press. If you don't already know, this press is the pinnacle of innovation for heat applied graphics on caps and hats. The patented dual silicone technology here on the lower platen is specifically engineered to reduce scorching and creasing when printing hats of any kind. It's needed when applying those heat applied patches and leather decorations. Now I love this press because of the super powerful IQ interface right here on the front that makes adjusting or recalling settings an absolute breeze. And I also love the independent heat control for the upper and lower platens. Now, if you are printing a lot of hats, this is a must add press to your shop and it really unlocks those more advanced decorations like the flex style, 3D and embroidered patches. Now we are going to be using our goof proof transfers here today. They are a screen printed transfer printed with Plastisol inks. Now those are the same inks that you're typically screen printing directly onto the t-shirt, giving you a professional retail quality print without the need for those extra inks, emulsions, harmful chemicals, or screens in your shop. And yes, absolutely no weeding. These transfers ship to you ready to apply. My favorite part is the gang sheets. Now all of the transfers we have here at Transfer Express are available on these full sheets that allow you to fill them up with as much artwork as you could fit. Now you could use different artwork or the same artwork, it really doesn't matter. All of our transfers are purchased by the sheet, so use all of the space you can. Now this is perfect for sharing one sheet with multiple customers artwork, or you even have the opportunity to add your own branding for free for inside tag prints, sleeve prints, or those upper back or yoke prints on the extra space of the sheet too. Now loading up the artwork reduces the print cost of each individual piece on here and allows you to maximize your profit. As you can see on this sheet, we have 13 total images here. That's bringing the cost of each image on this sheet just down to a few cents. Really, really cool. Now, before we start printing, there are a few artwork and sizing guidelines I like to stick to when printing hats. The first is height. Now it depends on the specific style of the hat. We'll use this one for an example, but I never go more than 2.2 inches high. For most of the hats, this keeps you away from the brim and gives you more than enough room that the graphic won't get up into the crown of the cap. The sewn crown up here on most of these trucker caps can crease on the press and get in the way of a perfect application. So it's best to avoid it and you won't ruin any hats. Now along with height, I also like to restrict the artwork to about four and a half inches wide. This ensures that we'll have a nice even pressure along the entire front of the graphic without getting too close to the edge of the platen. Now with the 360 IQ, we have a little bit wider range, but for any cap press, you're gonna get real close to the edge. Now you may be thinking, wait, 4.5 inches wide by 2.2 inches high is a super small print. And while you might think that, once we put it on a hat, you're gonna trust me that it's not and you'll see that that four and a half by 2.2 inches fills out the front of this cap perfect. Now, let's cut out our image from our gang sheet right here and 
I'll show you how great that 4.5 inches by 2.2 inches actually looks here on our hat today. Now that we're here at the press, we have our transfer and our hat ready to go. In this case, we're using a Port Authority C937 FlexFit 110 trucker cap. With these foam front trucker hats, the hard edge of most of the platens will crease the cap right here up on the crown. But with the Hotronics IQ360 and this awesome molded lower platen shape we mentioned earlier, we're not going to have that problem today. So we're going to set the press here to 330 degrees for the upper platen, and we'll use 320 for the lower platen to match the temperatures to the closest we can to ensure nice, even heat all throughout. For pressure, we are going to want to stay in that goof-proof range anywhere above that 5, but not getting too high, so you want to stay really in between 5 and 8. Then we'll set our time to 12 seconds, just like the instructions say. Now, we did increase the upper platen temp by five degrees over the recommended instructions, and that's because we'll be using a cover sheet to ensure we don't get any unwanted scorching or imprints in the foam from that paper carrier sheet on the goof proof. Now, once we're ready to press, we'll remove any packing materials, just like the cardboard on the inside of this hat, and load our hat onto the heat press, making sure that it's centered and the crown is facing directly up. Now we can add some tension to it, and ensure that the entire front surface that we're going to print on of the cap is flush against this lower platen uh, because if anything moves we're going to have some shifting when we're applying our transfer and we don't want that here we're going to grab our screen printed goof proof transfer and lay it down right here of course this one is 2.2 by four and a half inches so you're going to see that maximum print area that i was talking about here, once we're happy with the placement, everything nice and centered, we could go ahead and just place a cover sheet right over top, and we'll go ahead and make sure our brim is out of the way, and we'll press this for that 12 seconds. The press does auto open here, and with Goof Proof, it is a hot peel, so we'll peel the transfer away immediately. And then, lifting up on the lever, you've got it, a screen printed trucker hat that just turned out incredible. And that's it. Look how great this trucker hat turned out. A nice, durable screen print right here that was so easy to set up and press. With goof-proof screen printed transfers and the Hotronics IQ360, you could knock out big or small runs just like that. Now, of course, if you have any questions or tips that you use to print our screen printed transfers on hats, just let us know down in the comments section below. We're pushing out new videos like this one every single week here on the Transfer Express YouTube channel. So if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead, click it, subscribe. Now we're here to help you and your t-shirt business any way we can here at Transfer Express. And if you need us for anything, you could always reach out by leaving a comment calling us or emailing info at transferexpress.com. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.